Hey, welcome back. This is episode number 11 of this tutorial series on Arduino for complete beginners. You can find the series playlist in the description. And let's get started. So in this tutorial, we are going to focus on the Arduino PWM functionality. Let's come back to our digital pins on the Arduino Uno. As you can see, some of the pins have a PWM function. I'm going to explain what is PWM just in a moment. So you can recognize them with the tilde near the number for the pin. On Arduino Uno, out of the 14 digital pins, six of them can be used as output pins with a PWM. There are pins number 3, 5, 6, 9, 10 and 11. Now, what is a PWM? PWM means Pulse with Modulation. That's quite a complicated name, but you will see it's quite easy to understand. When you use a digital pin with a binary state, either the voltage is high, which means 5V all the time, or low, which means 0V all the time. With a PWM, you can choose to make the signal high only for a fraction of the time, and this fraction of the time in percentage is called the duty cycle. So here we have three examples. First, with a duty cycle of 0%. This means that the signal will be high 0% of the time. Thus, the signal is always low. In practice, this is the exact same as just using digital write with low. If we look at the third example on the bottom, here we have a duty cycle of 100%. That means that the signal will be high 100% of the time. Thus, the signal is always high. In practice, this is the exact same as just using digital write with high. And now the interesting part. If you look at the example in the middle, you can see we have a duty cycle of 25%. This means that the signal will be high 25% of the time and low 75% of the time. In practice, for example, when you power on an LED using the PWM of a digital pin, well, if you set 25% of the duty cycle, it's very similar as if instead of supplying 5 volt to the pin, you just supplied 1.25 volt which corresponds to 25% of 5 volt. Thus, you can expect the LED to be powered on, but with a lower intensity. To make it simple, just think about the duty cycle of the PWM as a percentage of the total voltage. And you can see that if you modify the PWM duty cycle between 0 and 100%, you can have much more control over the average voltage you supply to your components. Now, on the Arduino, the percentage will be represented by an integer number between 0 and 255. 0 is of course 0% and 255 is 100%. If you want to apply a 25% duty cycle for the PWM, you will then need to give 25% of 255, which is about 64. So let's complete our diagram. We are still setting the mode for the digital pin as output, and then we have two options. Either we use the pin with a binary state, which means we use the digital write function with a high or low, or, and this only applies to pins with the PWM mark, we can set an analog value using the analog write function and provide a value between 0 and 255, which corresponds to the percentage of the duty cycle. Let's now see how to actually use the digital pins with a PWM function on the Arduino. And we are going to use the analog write function that I'm going to explain to you in just a minute. But first, we need to change something in our circuit. Why is that? So we have our LED, which is correctly plugged to the Arduino. But if you look at the pin here, we have plugged the LED to pin number 12, okay? And the PWM function is only available here when you see the tilde, okay? So for example, pin number 11, 10, 9 here would do, but not pin number 12. 
So if you want to be able to use the analog write function for this LED, okay, to provide a PWM, you need to change the pin. So what I'm going to do is simply, so I click on the wire here and there is this dot that I'm going to change here to pin number 11. All right, nothing else to change, okay? We just changed the digital pin for the LED and now the LED is connected to a pin that has the PWM function so we can start to write the code. And how to change the pin on the real Arduino? Well, it's quite simple. So first make sure that you have unplugged your Arduino board. And then you simply, so you don't change anything, you simply unplug here this wire which is on pin number 12 and you just put it on pin number 11 right here. Okay, and that's it. And now back to the Arduino IDE. So back to the IDE and you can plug the Arduino board to your computer and make sure you have the correct board and the correct port here. And let's see how to use this analog write function. So I'm going to remove here the comments. And first, as usual, I'm going to use a define okay, for the LED pin. So this time it's not 12, this time it's 11. Now in the setup function, what I need to do is pin mode, LED pin output. Okay, so to initialize the pin, okay, to set the mode for the pin, as you could see in the diagram in the previous lesson, we still need to set the pin to output mode, okay? Whether you use digital write or analog write, you still need to set the mode as output. So now the pin has been initialized in the setup function. Let's directly use the analog. So analog writes, okay, you can see it turns orange like this. So analog and then uppercase W. I open the parentheses. Here I need to provide first the pin number, LED pin, just like we did in digital write. And then in digital write, we directly set high or low state. But with analog write, we are going to provide a number, so an integer number, between 0 and 255. So let's test, let's say 20. So I close the parentheses and don't forget the semicolon. So here the program will simply initialize the LED and set an analog value. So a PWM with a duty cycle, okay, which is 20 out of 255, which is a little bit less than 10%. Okay, and let's actually compile and upload the code. I'm going to name it analog write. And as you can see, the LED is powered on, but the intensity is quite low, okay? Now let's test with um, 200, which corresponds to about 78% of the PWM. So the intensity here should be much stronger. So let's try that. All right, and as you can see, your LED now is powered on again, but with a higher intensity. So you can try all kinds of value, okay, between 0 and 255 to see how the brightness changes with different values. And now let's let's try the two special values which are 0. So 0 means 0 percent. So if you send analog right with 0, the LED will simply be powered off. And with 255, the LED will be powered on with the 5 volt, okay, which is just what you would do with digital write and high state. All right, so as you can see, analog write function is not that complicated. Make sure first that the pin you try to use with analog write has a PWM function, otherwise it won't work. All right, that's the end of this episode. If you found it useful, you will definitely like my full complete course on Arduino named Arduino for Beginners. This course contains about seven times more content than the series. You can find the link in the description. 
Thank you for watching. See you in the course or in the next tutorial of the series.